So hello everyone, and I want to uh, show you how to do the binding process. Okay, so ND looks here. So what we want to carry out now is a simple process. Remember, communication goes from Royal Q servers to your Binance account. However, you need your app to be able to gain visibility over what is happening. So to bind your app to your to Binance, uh, there's a simple process that we want you to follow. So follow these steps. Um, now. There are two applications that work here. One is Royal Q and the other is Binance. There are two things you copy from Binance, bring them to Royal Q, and there's one thing you copy from Royal Q and take it to Binance. Then you edit your API. That's all. That's the process of binding. So let's get started. Uh, first things first, you open up your Royal Q, you click on Home, then you click on API binding here. Then you click on the Binance option right on top there. Now, when you do this, you get positioned here. You want to go copy the secret key first. So you switch to your Binance, okay? Now, in Binance, you click on Home at the bottom left. Then you click on More right here. Now, when you click on More, you scroll down to the bottom of the page. You click on API Management. Now here we are on API management, just type in any name that you want. And so I'll just type Royal Q. It can be any name literally. Or maybe you just say Royal Q uh, 3, yeah? Okay. And you go ahead and click on Create API. Now they're asking you for your code. So I'm going to go get the email confirmation code first. And then I'm going to go set up uh, my Google, my get my Google codes. Now some people just use email and phone number so whatever it is that works no go get it so email verification first i'm gonna go get that here it is and i'm gonna copy that email verification code i'm gonna switch back to finance Okay, so I made a mistake there. So I'll just go back to my email application and copy it again. No worries. So I'll go back to Binance and paste it. Okay. Yeah, paste. And then the next thing is I have to go get my Google Authenticator codes, right? So let's go get the Google Authenticator. And I can see the Google Authenticator code that I need here for Binance is uh, right. I'm going to submit that and API created so you have to create the API but that's not all once you've created the API remember you need to copy two things uh, the secret key and the API key. So you tap on the arrow at the bottom here just to expand properly. There you are. So the first thing you want to copy is the secret key. So just below here, you see secret key, highlight the entire text. That's it. Um, then copy. You quickly want to copy the secret key first because after a while it turns to gibberish and then you'll not be able to copy it. So you copy the secret key first always. You go to a royal queue and you paste the secret key right here easy does it then you click on api key go back to binance get your api key how do you get the api key there's this yellow copy right there yeah just click on that yellow copy copy that gives you your api key switch back to a royal queue and you paste the api key in this box easy does it and then you go check on the bottom there. I have read the risk notice carefully. Just tap on it. Then uh, get the code. Sec ver verification code, click send. So they're going to send you an email, which you're going to quickly go uh, get. All right. So I'm going to go get that uh, from my email. That email is going to come from Royal Q. Not from Binance. It's going to come from Royal Q. 
so quickly copy out that email yeah the timestamp is okay great so you copy out the email easy does it you go back to real queue there's always a countdown there so you copy that now if you decide to do the binding straight away at times you get this error the api is invalid and the reason is simple you've not copied these ips here so copy, click copy by these ips here the ip group binding copy copy the ips then switch quickly to binance scroll down and this place you see uh the api key allows access to any ip address this is not recommended you know leave that and go click on the next one all right click on it the next one is okay this is uh, okay yeah so you have to click on edit first sorry click edit first on the top here then you can scroll down to be able to edit that great and then you paste the api keys you copy it here and you click on confirm after you paste it you've copied it from a real queue you paste it here you click on confirm then it allows it to show in this way okay no need to click on confirm again once you've done that just go back up enable spot and margin training right there enable spot and margin trading those are the two rights you need to give to the api uh, with that in mind you come back here click on save and then you need your authentication again from um, google authenticator or whatever you use for binance so i'm gonna get it Alright, so it has saved those details and the IPs. Now that it has saved all these details and the IPs, I'm just going to switch back to RealQ and try to do the same process again. If I click on bind now, it says bound successfully. Okay, uh, but the color hasn't changed. So let me just go back and click in again. In this instance, the color hasn't changed. So I have to figure out why the color hasn't changed. So I'm trying to go around and around and around to see why the color hasn't changed. Yeah, so the color has changed. That was just a lack of time for whatever reason. So once again, I'll summarize. You need to get two things from Binance into Royal Q. And those two things are the secret key and the API key. Copy the secret key first. Then you copy the API, API key next. Then you copy this IP address from a real queue and go to Binance and paste it. And in the process, you also do the editing. For you to paste it successfully, you have to edit the API by clicking the edit on the top here and scrolling down and you know selecting the second option to restrict access to trusted IPs only. Yeah, once you paste that, confirm. The next thing you do is enable spot or margin trading. Once you do that, you've given the rights to real queue. Remember, enable withdrawals is disabled on the on the app. So real queue cannot withdraw your money. So this IP address setting is another powerful way of real queue securing your application even further. Remember, be um, cyber security conscious. Don't click on phishing links. Um, be careful what you click on. Uh, keep your phone safe and enjoy the business. Congratulations and welcome to the key. So that's the binding process and that's it. Thank you very much. This is Andy Lux here once again. Have fun.